Now, full disclosure here, while running the ball, back in 2020, 2021, somewhere up in there, he hurt himself. But name a position on the football field where no one has ever gotten hurt. Nonetheless, what the person was trying to say is that one Lamar Jackson was not a good quarterback because he didn't maintain and stay in the pocket. Now, that would be excellent if and only if every quarterback, and I shall use my words carefully here, looked like Lamar Jackson. Now, I'm not going to say that he was in some way alluding to Lamar Jackson looking different, and that's why he didn't like his style. I'm not saying that. No. What I am saying is this. When Josh Allen did the same thing this past week, nobody said anything about him being a throwing running back that happens to play quarterback. Oh, RJ, you just, you just being one of those black, black guys, black journalists. Okay, so glad you said that. Let's look at the stats. Josh Allen went 26 of 39, 186 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. QBR 65.4, a rating of 86.1. Okay. He also ran the ball for 12 on 12 carries, 72 yards, two touchdowns, a long of 18. What I'm about to show you folks is they're right. They shouldn't have said that because Lamar Jackson was way more efficient. Here we go. Lamar Jackson. was 16 of 22, 152 yards, 6.9 average. And he ran the ball 11 times for 100 yards, the long being 23 yards and two touchdowns. So actually they shouldn't say that because Lamar Jackson was way more effective and efficient than Josh Allen was on Sunday. So much so, the differential in points, whew. Buffalo lost by three points while the Ravens won by double digits. All I'm saying is this. Lamar Jackson must have took those negative thoughts that people projected upon him and used them to the betterment of his game. Well, you know what, RJ? I wish that we could look at the past seasons and tell. Well, okay. Let's throw out 2019 because in 2019, he won the MVP. But he did throw for 3,000 yards and he ran for another 1,200 yards. And yeah, yeah. But they didn't they didn't make it to like anywhere. They made it to the playoffs, but they didn't do anything. You know, they, they didn't win Super Bowl. Okay, so let's throw out 2021 and 2022 only because that was one of the years where he got hurt and he only played 12 games in both of them. So, yeah, we, we're going to throw them out too, although he did throw for 240 yards in 2021 and only 186 yards. These are averages, of course, uh, in 2022. We'll leave that right there. So let's take 2020 and 2023. Okay. So both of these years, he, he played all the games except one. Both years, they were the number one seed and got knocked out. Okay. That's cool. So in 2020, he had 183 yards, average passing. And he had a thousand yards rushing. Well, in 2023, his throwing average was 230 yards, and he ran for 821 yards. The thing about this is, is that his longest run 
in 2023 was 30 yards. And when it comes to big rushing or attempts that were over 20 yards as compiled by ESPN stats, he only did that four times. Hmm. So what has happened is in 2023, he is rushing the ball more efficiently and more safely. So much so, Bill Polian, renowned GM, said that he was wrong when he said last year that one Lamar Jackson needed to convert to wide receiver, even after an MVP quarterback year. I get it, folks. If you don't like the ecstatic value of Lamar Jackson, that's one thing. But to say he's not top-notch or top five as I coined back in October, then you're absolutely wrong. And most importantly, of all these things, Lamar Jackson didn't sulk. He didn't complain. He simply turned those negative statements by people, fans, and NFL personnel alike. He turned those negatives into positives.